Hey everybody, I'm making this video to talk about what just happened to me as I attempted to go to church. Um, of course, you know, I dealt with uh, a lot of people with road rage, ripping around me, doing way past the speed limit. They doing like 80 miles an hour, 90 miles, well probably 85 miles an hour, ripping around me on the on the highway. Just have, they just have to get in front of me. That's how they act like they just have to get in front of me. Um, I guess they might get a point or something by doing that. Anyways, by the time we made it to the church, we were bombarded at the doors of the church with Freemasons. Um, we go on a service. The whole service is about conspiracy theorists. <laughs> no scripture. Uh, about how the vaccine isn't the mark of the beast and how um, basically, you know, um, people need mental health evaluations. What are you talking about? People didn't come in, they trying to push the flu vaccine. They got the people in the lobby ready to give people the flu vaccine. He bragging about how he been feeding people through the pandemic, um, as if that makes his unholy deeds holy. The lady doing sign language in the front is throwing up Freemasonry signs. Um, the whole time I just felt attacked. I felt like these people were targeting me during the service and attacking me. And that's what they were doing because that's what they do. That's what they're paid to do. And um, they, they're they paid to come against the children of the Almighty. Uh, these people think that they're worshiping the Lord. They think that they know that, that it's the devil. They have to. It's no way they couldn't know that they're serving the devil. These people willingly are serving the devil with no problem. Like, it's just creepy. Like, they don't have no fear of God. I'm not saying it's not people of God in there. But a majority of them are devil worshipers and witches and warlocks. Like, look at this guy. He want to walk directly by my uh, truck. They keep coming from nowhere just to walk past my truck, these people. This is not the first guy that just so happened to just walk by my truck. Because, um, you know, that's what they do. That's what they get paid to do, the fear monger. Um, anyways, with a hood on, like they tough holding a straw or something, acting like it's a knife. But, um, look, they keep on coming by me. All the cars want to pull right past me. Yeah, yeah, go right behind me. That's exactly what you need to do. Um, Because, you know, they don't want to be put on camera. Look, another car. For some reason, they keep pulling up next to me. They want to they wanna think they bold because they're in their new car. They feel like that's going to cover them. It ain't going to cover them when the wrath of God come down. It ain't going to cover you. Your money ain't going to save you. Your car ain't going to save you. Anyways, they trying to get me to stop talking about what I'm talking about right now. So, um, it's just ridiculous. The timing of these people is like, they literally have you down to a T. The way they, they treat you like a, it's witchcraft. They're trying to control you. It's witchcraft. It's puppetry. They want to treat you like a puppet. Like the red truck, you know, there we go. Yeah, I know. I know. They just so happen when you look up to, um, they just so happen when you look up to be around, wanting to get your attention, like this guy just waved at me. What are you waving at me for? And you're, you're gang stalking me. I'm not going to wave at you and you sitting up here gang stalking me. Because they try to take advantage of the Christian, like, oh, you're supposed to love your enemies. And so they try to take advantage of that. So you have to be wary. The Bible says, do not cast your pearls among swine, nor give what's holy to the dogs, lest they turn around and lest they trample you underfoot and turn or trample your pearls underfoot and turn around and maul you. God forgive me, Lord. I'll be trying to say the scripture correctly. Father God, I just ask you to have mercy on me in this area, Lord, and um, bring to um, the scripture that they need. God, bring it to to them one way or another, Lord God. But um, basically, while we in church, this pastor is targeting me and my children, talking about everything that I'll be talking about on here. Um, and he's like, they're empowering these agents, these informants. They're empowering them, um, letting them think that it's the power of God. And um, I'm not saying that God can't use certain uh, organizations, because I do believe that the Lord is able to use uh, anything for the good of the Christian. Um, 
But these people are, are Freemasons and they are covered it over to the devil. And that's why they get away with this stuff. But they won't get away with it for eternity. But they think they are. You can't tell them that they not going to get in trouble. You cannot tell them that they won't be charged. You cannot tell them that they won't be held accountable. These people really deep down inside believe that that they would never be held accountable, that they are just so holy and so righteous. They hold the law over people's head that they don't even keep themselves. They use the Bible against the Christian when they don't even follow the Bible themselves. They are the modern day Pharisees and Sadducees. And they are the people that executed a lot of prophets in the Bible, including Jesus Christ, the son of God. Um, the pastor talked for literally tw like 20 minutes about everything except God. The only time he used God was um, a cover up. After he was telling people they're stupid, basically in other words, if they don't get the flu vaccine, um, he just pushing the agenda basically, pushing the agenda. Of course, they ask people for money, bragging about how they're not in debt. And um, it was to the point where my daughter felt uncomfortable and she just wanted to leave because they kept, oh, and they kept bothering us the whole time we were there. It's all these people in here. The ushers just keep on finding reasons to come and say something to me and my children the whole time, the whole time. They're dressed in a red and black. Also, after this video, I'm going to post a video of what they began to sing when we left the church. It was so, it was so like obvious. They were so bold about it until I pulled out my camera. It looked like she lip syncing on the video. You're going to see it. Watch it. I'm going to post it after this one. It's crazy. But um, so we were attacked in a place that's supposed to be a sanctuary of safety, a safe haven for the Christian. Instead, they're only looking out for the Satanists. The Satanists have taken over the churches. Um, the Satanists have taken over our governments, our police departments. Um, our neighborhoods, the Christian is being hunted like prey. The child of God, the meek, the harmless on the earth are being hunted like prey. Um, these people are sacrificing family members left and right for fame and clout because this social media thing is an addiction. These people are addicted to fame. They're addicted to attention. They're addicted to um, popularity. They want to be popular. They want to be, and they're jealous. They're so jealous. They're so jealous of anything that anyone else has that that isn't that isn't theirs um it's really sad but anyways you guys stay in the word of god stay prayed up you know these people are they're they're doing what the devil does the bible says the devil roams around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour and that's what these people are doing they're seeking whom they may devour and they feel powerful they feel tough like they are part of a gang but they don't know that you that God has an army of angels, an army of angels, an army of angels that are around to destroy the powers of the enemy and targeting individuals. You have to get in your word and fight in the spirit, fight in the spirit. This is a spiritual battle for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. These people are possessed, demonically possessed. They are controlled and manipulated by the powers that be, the powers of darkness that, that are ruling right now. But they won't rule forever. Um, it's only temporary. It's only temporary. You know, they, they these guys are prowling after my daughters. They're sick, pedophiles, unattractive. There we go with the red truck. You know, he wants some attention. He wants some camera time. He wants some camera time. He want camera time, y'all. So I'm going to give him some camera time. I'm going to give him camera time. The camera time he looking for. Because, you know, they like they liking the attention, I guess. They don't know that their day is up. Why would you come to that side to hand me that? Mama, what is this? Oh, 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 oh.